pKa. And it turns out that pKa's and pKb's are a little bit more uh, common property that you see about acids and bases. So if you look up any acid base and you want to read about it, say on Wikipedia or something, or even like in a, a chemistry uh, resource website or book, um, they're going to list its pKa, not its Ka. Okay, that's a lot more common to give pKa's and pKb's. All right, just because it's a lot more useful than, or just more, I guess, I don't know, somewhat useful to talk and use in terminology, just because it is like one through fourteen. It's not one point six times ten to the negative fifth. It's like four point two. Like that's the pKa. So that's just a lot easier to say. So that's why it's more common. So let's think about what pKa's and pKb's mean. Okay. So let's let's think about two acids. Let's just say H X versus H Y. All right, let's say H A H Y has a KA of one point zero times ten to the negative eighth. H X has a K uh, A of 1.0 times 10 to the negative fourth. I might ask you which acid is stronger. And what would you say? HX? Why is HX bigger? Stronger. Because? And ionize more, the Ka is larger, so we're going to make more products, more hydronium, stronger acid. Yes, yes. So Hx, because Ka is larger. So let's think about what we would do if we're comparing the pKa's instead of the Ka's. Because again, if you look this up in any literature, in a book, website, you're probably going to be given the K pKa's. All right, so let's calculate the pKa's. Okay. PKA equals negative log of the KA, so negative log of 1.0 times 10 to the negative fourth equals 4. And then HYs would be PKA equals negative log 1.0 times 10 to the negative eighth. Its PKA is 8. So the stronger acid is HX. That's still going to be the stronger acid. No change about that. But when we're looking at the pKa's, what tells you that? So, so the larger the pKa, the weaker the acid. The stronger the acid, the lower the pKa. PK, HX has a lower pKa. But we already decided it's the stronger one. That's the truth. That's going to be the, the um, that's going to be true for any pKa's. The lower the pKa is, the stronger the acid because the negative log it reverses. Which, if you think about acids, usually we're talking about pH. If the pH is smaller, what's that mean for the acid? Is that going to be a stronger or weaker? Stronger. stronger. The more, the lower the pH, the more acidic. That acid is. So pKa, again, we're put on the negative log, so it follows that same trend. The lower the pKa tells you that that's going to be the stronger, more acidic acid, given you know equal concentrations because pH is concentration dependent. Right. Uh, the stronger the acid, The lower, the smaller the pKa. I really wanted to put that one line. I was thinking. Underline it because that's important. And that's where my room went for that pKa. See if this was Word. That would have. Had a little squiggly red line on it, a repeated word. I could just replace it. <laughs> the stronger the acid, the smaller 
Didn't I talk about it this summer? Uh oh, you're in for it. Didn't talk about it in session two? No. Okay. Get excited. We don't have time. <laughs> All right. All right, so the same can be true uh, for uh, bases. Okay? The stronger the base, what about its KB? The stronger the, the K, uh, base, the, it's going to follow the same thing, the bigger the KB. So the bigger the KB, more products, stronger base. Then when we take the negative log of that, what's that going to mean? The smaller the PKB. So for bases, The stronger the base, the smaller the KB, or the bigger the K, bigger the KB, and the smaller the PKB. So same thing as the acid. We're just using KB and PKB. 